So we started in 2007, June of 2007, we started like building the building over here and collecting seven barrel tanks. And we weren't quite sure at that point that it was seven barrel. We were looking for well, something, but then, once, you know. Once we found the brew kettle, the brew kettle was kind of like the integral part because cog. we didn't really know what we were going to, what we were going to find. Um, so we were just, you know, I mean, we, every night, it was like the internet. It was like, all right, what do I, you know, what can we find or what can we do here? Well, like, any keyword might we'll pull yeah, up Yeah, what can pull up something strange? And so it was like, it was not until we found the, the seven barrel brew kettle that we actually went, all right, cool, man. This is a, because it was anywhere between, you know, five to, to ten. And it was like, all right, we found this brew kettle, man, for a, a, a great price. And let's drive to Louisiana and pick it up. And then <laughs> wow. we came back and uh, had it there. And, you know, in the process, we're looking for more. Uh, like brewing style tanks, so it was like we were looking for like a, a you know a circular mash tun or a circular hot water tank and, and brewing vessels like that, uh, and never really thinking about um, well, we dairy tanks really did until think about it. well until we saw that one tank. We were looking for anything that was huge and behind us. Right. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, we could do this, and so we finally uh, we ended up finding uh, a couple other tanks, and then we found the uh, the Grundy tanks which is the conditioning tanks in the cold room. Um, we found those, and then it was from there, it was just kind of like, all right, well, now we got to find some stuff to actually make this thing this thing work. Uh, so we uh, we found, we went to a dairy auction and bought some dairy tanks uh, that were the right size, so for for the mash tun and the, uh, and the cold water tank, and then we found the hot water tank behind the electric department in Smithville, Tennessee. That was wow. a pretty cool trip. We were just driving through Smithville because we were always working in construction. And so we were on our way to some BFE location. We were going to like redo some dude's uh, concrete in the back of his cabin, cabin out in way, way back in DeKalb County. And so we were driving past on our way there, and I'm like, I'm like, oh crap, something big and stainless back there. You know what I'm saying? And we stopped in. It was at the electric department. We stopped in at the end of the day and, and talked to this, uh, a couple uh, ladies in there, and they were like, "Oh yeah, this guy, this guy owns it." You know, what I'm saying, "Call this guy," and we called him, and he—that uh, was another. Uh, it's a pretty decent deal. It wasn't mm -hmm. our best deal that we ever mm -hmm. got, but it was decent. We got it for uh, basically a dollar a pound, which is what scrap at the time. That's yeah, what scrap, scrap, scrap was. was going for. He goes, "Well, we'll just do it like scrap." Is that cool with you guys? And we're like, "Yeah, that's cool with so us." We, you know. <laughs> so we took the tank to the co-op, man. The co-op had this big scale that they could actually pick up stuff and so they strapped the thing up and picked it up and it it registered yeah. it registered more than I thought it would be. <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, it's like crap. We were man. thinking, man, we can get this tank five hundred bucks, man, this is cool. <laughs> Seven hundred and forty uh, pounds, man. Wow. <laughs> we're like, but that was that's actually but damn yeah. good, man. Especially since it, I mean it works and it was, you were using it in the brewery and mm -hmm. what the hell, man? Seven hundred and forty dollars. Yeah. It's not too bad. Cool. So.